hell did a musical number almost finish a member of the Jackass Squad? Was Johnny Knoxville's Evil Knievel impression worth three years with a catheter? And what Jackass Forever stunt nearly put an end to a cast member? Steven Steve-O Glover has had his share of stunts go wrong over nearly 25 years of throwing himself, often face first, into one dangerous situation after another, whether the cameras were rolling or not. In a 2019 video posted to his YouTube channel, Steve-O lays out the history of his many, many broken teeth over the years. While always self-conscious about his teeth as a boy, Steve-O had never considered cosmetic dental work until he needed to. In 1995, he jumped from a balcony at a Miami keg party and broke seven teeth, along with his cheekbone and wrist. His first set of crowns, installed in 1997, were stained yellow to match his existing teeth. In 2004, after the tremendous success of Jackass, the series, and the first movie, Steve-O had an all-new set of teeth put in. By 2009, however, he had developed a bacterial infection in his gums that necessitated a new full set of crowns put in. Not due to any wild stunt, but rather a lack of flossing. Further gum troubles resulted in yet another set of crowns installed in 2014, plus dentures to replace two rotten teeth meaning that Steve-O has had a different set of teeth in each of the four Jackass movies. You still got those million-dollar teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> in a 2018 interview with Vanity Fair, Knoxville recalls his department store boxing match with professional heavyweight Eric Butterbean Esch. Butterbean. <sighs> He's really strong. Filmed for 2002's Jackass the Movie, Knoxville and Butterbean enter a local swap meet wearing boxing robes and trunks. The two men duke it out in the middle of the sales floor with shoppers standing by. Well, duke it out isn't quite correct. Butterbean pummels him to the ground, waits for Knoxville to get back up, allows him to get in one punch, and then pummels him again. Knoxville falls unconscious to the concrete floor, resulting in a concussion, vertigo, and a severe gash on the top of his head. In the interview, Knoxville praises Esch's kind spirits and sense of humor. Until it was time to put the gloves on. As soon as he put the gloves on, I said something to him. He just looked right through me, like he didn't even know me. It really changed him when he put the gloves on. After nearly swallowing his tongue, Knoxville regains consciousness and even manages a solid zinger. Butter being okay? This stunt from Jackass 3D begins with Ryan Dunn recreating the famous 1980s Maxell cassette tape advertisement by sitting directly behind an idling jet engine and getting swept across a field by the exhaust. The crew wouldn't want a jet engine to go to waste, of course, so after Dunn's stunt was complete, everyone else takes a turn. Knoxville dresses as an old-timey football player and takes a jet-propelled pigskin directly to the chest. Eric Rona dons a wingsuit and unsuccessfully attempts to fly away. Singer-songwriter and part-time Jackass cast member Loomis Fool tries to make like Mary Poppins via an umbrella and trampoline, but instead is driven straight into the ground. While the film shows Fool getting up from his splat and appearing to walk it off, in reality he had a broken clavicle and hand, according to the film's director Jeff Tremaine. By Tremaine's estimate, it was the most serious injury suffered by any of the gang during filming. This is strictly for the purposes of being educational and a good person. So begins a 2013 video posted online by Steve-O featuring a young Machine Gun Kelly, in which the burgeoning pop-punk phenom gives Steve-O a smiley face tattoo on his backside using a BB gun. This segment is only a little over two minutes long, but is one of the most excruciating stunts that any Jackass member has taken part in. MGK sits at point-blank range with his BB gun, while Steve-O bends down in front of him with his pants pulled down. The impact of the first shot shocks them both. Steve-O howls in pain, while Kelly puts his hand to his mouth in horror. The second shot is presented in slow motion. With two eyes drawn, MGK adds five more shots underneath as a wobbly smile. The final scene of Jackass No. 2 is a large-scale choreographed musical number featuring the cast singing the Broadway tune The Best of Times Is Now. The scene takes Knoxville and company through different styles of musicals and ultimately ends with an Oklahoma-style hoedown featuring Knoxville, Majera, and Ryan Dunn. In classic Jackass fashion, the guys take the phrase horsing around to a whole new level. Despite the sequence's relative professionalism and polish, this ended up being one of the most dangerous stunts in the film. Dunn landed on his shoulder and developed a nearly fatal blood clot, and while bedridden with that injury, was also diagnosed with Lyme disease. 
In 2008, Knoxville appeared in the director video spin off Jackass Presents Matt Hoffman's Tribute to Evil Knievel. He was not supposed to perform a stunt in the show, but Knoxville has never been one to sit out a good time. I got to Oklahoma and everyone was having so much fun, and I decided. Well, I want to have some fun, too." Knoxville's intention was to backflip a motorcycle, despite the fact that he did not know how to ride a motorcycle particularly well. As he puts it, "...sometimes when people are explaining how to do something to me before a stunt, I'm not listening, because I just want to do the stunt." After several unsuccessful attempts to flip the motorbike up the steep dirt ramp, Knoxville let go of the handlebars too soon, just as he had been told not to do. Whatever you do, do not ditch the bike right away. Because if you go like this and ditch the bike, then yeah, it goes 40 feet in the air and lands on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bike spun into the air and came back down directly on top of him, specifically on his crutch. Knoxville was rushed to the hospital and subsequently diagnosed with a torn urethra. For the next three years, Knoxville had to wear a catheter. The injury could have been much worse. He told Variety in 2022, "...the doctor said a couple of centimeters down and it would have been out of commission. But I've had two children since then, so it's in great working order." Jackass is at its best when a simple task is carried out in the most outrageous way Knoxville and his band of knuckleheads can imagine. Such is the case in Lamborghini Toothpull from Jackass 3D. Former professional snowboarder Danger Aaron needs a toothpulled. So naturally, the chosen method of extraction is a length of extra-strong fishing line with the tooth on one end and Bam Majera's Lamborghini on the other. Aaron sits in a dentist chair in the middle of a racetrack while Majera floors his sports car in the opposite direction. It's difficult to tell what the most horrifying element is in this stunt. The distinct pop sound that accompanies the tooth being pulled from Aaron's mouth, his screams of agony and inability to regain composure afterwards, or the fact that the stunt didn't just pull his tooth, but, as he told the Willamette Week, broke his face, quote, all the way up to almost his eye. Jackass Forever arrives in theaters in February 2022 after a nearly year-long delay, and a full 12 years after Jackass 3D. The film is filled to the brim with guest stars and new additions to the gang, though not all the series' original stars will be returning. Ryan Dunn passed away in 2011, and Bam Majera was fired from the production in 2021 due to his erratic behavior and substance abuse issues. Through it all, however, Johnny Knoxville has been the steady hand on the oversized shopping cart. His natural charm as host has always helped smooth over the show's rough edges, and his boyish enthusiasm for making his friends do stupid, stupid tricks is still infectious nearly 22 years after the first episode. Jackass may be mean at times, but it isn't mean-spirited. It helps that Knoxville is always willing to put himself at risk before anyone else. As Steve-O told GQ magazine in 2021, there's nobody else on the cast that's ever going to roll the dice with their life like that. Knoxville rolled the dice once again in Jackass Forever, nearly dying in a stunt that involved him performing a magic trick for a bull. Bulls have been a part of many Jackass stunts over the years and seem to have a special fascination for Knoxville. He told GQ, "...you know exactly what you're going to get with bulls. They hate you, which is great for us." The run-in with this bull put Knoxville in the hospital with several broken bones, a concussion, and a brain hemorrhage. Was it worth the damage? As always, the resulting footage promises to be both hard to watch and impossible to look away from. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.